Dear children, I would like to welcome you to the first unit of class 10 biology, genetics of life. It is me, Rashid Odakal. This chapter mainly discusses the genetics, the branch of science that unravels the secrets of life. At the beginning of this chapter, you can see the picture of Jennifer A. Doudna and Emmanuel Carpentier for developing a methodology of gene editing. They won Nobel Prize in 2020. What is gene editing? Gene editing is the, the process which can bring desirable changes in the genes in DNA. Jennifer A. Doudna and Emmanuel Carpentier uh, introduced the technology CRISPR-Cas for gene editing. This may helpful in treatment of genetic disease and cancer and also for developing pesticide-resistant or disease-resistant crop varieties. And what is a gene? Gene is a specific part of DNA, a specific sequence of nucleotides in DNA. DNA are seen in chromosomes and nucleotides are the basic structural units of DNA and proteins which are synthesized according to these genes according to the instruction of these genes are responsible for the formation of characteristic features and controlling metabolic activities of organism. So genetics is the branch of science that deals with these genes and the characteristic features like heredity and variation. Where these genes are located? Genes are located in DNA molecules of chromosomes of cell nucleus in eukaryotes. You know that in eukaryotes, each cell possesses a membranous bounded nucleus with a network of chromatin or sometimes called as chromosomes inside. In our cell, each chromosome contains a deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA made up of nucleotides. And Genes are the specific part of DNA or specific nucleotides of DNA. James Watson and Francis Crick proposed a double helix model of DNA in 1953 from the X-ray diffraction studies of DNA conducted by Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. Especially from the photo 51 taken by this Rosalind Franklin, they developed the double helix model of DNA. Later, uh, she was died and in 1962, Morris Wilkins, Francis Kick and James Watson were awarded Nobel Prize in Medicine for the discovery of double helix model of DNA. Let us uh, discuss the detailed structure of DNA. DNA is a double stranded structure. Uh, the two strands are made of deoxyribose, a 5-carbon sugar and phosphate groups. And the rungs like part are made up of nitrogen based pairs. A nucleotide means it contains mainly a 5 carbon sugar here. Uh, it is deoxyribose and phosphate group and nitrogen base. There are four nitrogen base adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine. And this is a thymine nucleotide. This T indicates thymine. This is uh, paired with the adenine nucleotide and another nucleotide cytosine and this this is guanine the phosphate groups participate in the bonding of nucleotides and the rungs like structures or nucleotide pairs guanine pairs with the cytosine uh, in, um, by a triple bond and thymine with adenine by a double bond also see the direction of this strand on is upward and this is downward the DNA in each chromosome is about 5 cm long and in our 46 chromosome of a cell it will be around 2 meter in length. How does such a large DNA fits in a single chromosome? A chromosome contains mainly DNA and histone protein. This is a paired chromosome where the pairing occurs at centromere and the wing like parts are known as chromatids. Chromatids are the parts of a chromosome which are connected by means of the centromere. I also labeled the telomere the end portion of chromosome. This is an illustration of how a chromosome is formed. See DNA strands made up of nucleotides weighing around a histone octamer 
which is composed of eight histone proteins, thus to form a nucleosome. The chains of numerous such nucleosomes coiled, wind and packed and again recoil and packed to form a chromosome. See, DNA strands of nucleotides wind around the histone octama to form the nucleosome and by packing and coiling numerous such nucleosomes uh, forms a chromosome. Okay. This is the figure of chromosome. A chromosome is 1400 nanometer wide and the DNA is only 2 nanometer wide. And in human being, each cell contains 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs chromosome. Out of each pair, one is from mother and one get from father. One last pair is different here and this is the sex chromosome and other 22 pairs are somatic chromosomes. This is, these are the somatic chromosomes which control physical characteristics and the sex determining chromosomes are the last pair uh, XY or XX. XY seen in the male while XX seen in female normally. Y chromosome is smaller than X. Since the chromosomes are identical in uh, somatic chromosome, they are also known as homologous chromosomes. The Y chromosome is important in sex determination because of the presence of SRY gene. The SRY gene on the Y chromosome is responsible for the development of testis in the embryo or in other words, development of male child. In short, the somatic chromosomes are 22 pairs and sex chromosomes one pair uh, that is XX in female or XY in male. A somatic chromosome control physical characteristics and since they are identical uh, in shape, they are also known as homologous chromosomes. Uh, sex chromosomes are involved in sex determination, especially the Y chromosome contain SRY gene. Uh, it is responsible for the development of testis in the embryo. So, it is very important. Y chromosome of the father is very important in sex, the determination of sex. See the next slide. The fertilization of X contained sperm with any egg result female child or XX. The fertilization of Y and X chromosomes or sperm with Y and X egg results male children. That is in other words male genetic constitution is 44 plus XY and that of female is 44 plus XX. See the face. See this. And in the female genetic constitution total 46 chromosomes are there out of which 44 are somatic and 2 or XX are the sex determined chromosome and similarly in males but here the difference is in the sex chromosome. Sometimes variation may occur in genetic constitution for example uh, all of the two syndromes called Turner syndrome and triple X syndrome mainly seen in females see here here one X is absent in Turner syndrome here one X is more similarly in males Klinefelter syndrome shows one X more normally X Y but here X is uh, X is more and in the XYY syndrome the name indicates Y is excess. Genetics which I have uh, said earlier that the branch of science that deals with the genes and the heredity and variation and the proteins which are synthesized according to these genes are responsible for the formation of characteristic features and controlling metabolic activities. How are these proteins synthesized? Let us discuss it uh, in our second class. Now answer a few questions. First one, a gene is a specific part of dash of chromosome, specific part of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid of 
कौन सा टाइमिंग बी टाइमिंग इज पेरिंग विथ एडिलिंग साइटोसिन इज डैश नो डाउट गोअनिन सी वन शुगर एंड वन फोस्फेट एंड वन नाइट्रोजन बेस इज डैश हियर इज अ मॉडल इज अ न्यूक्लियोटे एंड डी फ्रांसिस क्रिकेन डैश proposal the double helical model of dna james watson is the answer and e female have 44 somatic chromosomes plus x and male have dash 44 plus x by and the second question identify the illustration or given figure uh, this is a nucleotide especially t indicate thymine so this is a thymine nucleotide sub question b what does the t indicate What is it is peculiar to the T indicate a thymine nitrogen base. Uh, it is an alkaline nitrogen contained alkaline molecule. And third question: How does the nucleosomes in the chromosomes forms? DNA strands wind around a histone octamer which is composed of eight histone proteins, thus to form a nucleosome. And the chains of nucleosomes uh, are packed, coiled, and again coiled and packed into form. A chromosome. And the last question: Explain what a SRY gene, a specific gene seen in Y chromosome that determine or that uh, promote the growth of testes in embryo. And B, CRISPR-Cas technology. It's a technology uh, proposed by Jennifer A. Doudna and Emmanuel Carpenter. For gene editing, and see photo fifty one. Photo fifty one is a famous X-ray diffraction picture uh, taken by Rosalind Franklin. From this, uh, James Watson and Francis Crick can propose uh, the model of double helical model of DNA. And last one, the histone. Histone is a protein uh, seen in chromosome. So, thank you.